as you look right there at that Louisville Cardinal and his breath being very visible in the air. Memphis, Tennessee at the Liberty Bowl tonight. As we had mentioned early on in our cut into Sports Center, the weather conditions not so good. It's the temperature, guys. It's really going to cause problems for quarterback Jeff Brown. Because of the broken finger, the colder it gets, the more pain he has, the harder it's going to be to grip the ball. <laughs> Akers will kick it off as you look at Scott Green at number 47. And to the near side, Derek Mason. Rain last night and also throughout the day, and thank goodness now the rain has stopped. It is a mist that is coming down, and we will see if the conditions worsen as the evening goes on. Akers with a hand above his head. A referee tonight for the Southeastern Conference is Jimmy Harper. Akers moves forward, and the 35th Liberty Bowl game is underway. This will come to Mason at the 5. To the 20 and out to the 21 yard line so let's check the start of starting lineups for michigan state tonight jim miller his head coach says he thinks he'll play on sunday he thinks he has the complete package the man they want to get the ball to mill coleman he's a junior out of farmington hills very good high school quarterback but he is the blister speed guy big plan five pounds and up front of the offensive line shane hannah second team all big 10 he is the best of the offensive linemen for the Spartans. Craig Thomas lines up as the lone setback in the backfield for Michigan State, and they go run. Comes to the right side, breaks off one tackle, breaks off another, and he's going to have a gain of nine. Watson on the stop, and here are the starters for the Louisville Cardinals. Joe Johnson out of St. Louis, the best of that down four. Very active linebackers. You remember Tom Cavallo, the last time that we saw this football team from Louisville, he had 14 tackles against Texas A&M. He's a good one. And in the secondary, Anthony Bridges. In fact, a lot of the pro scouts think that this young man is going to be awfully good, possibly with an audible this time with two backs as Abrams comes in at the fullback spot. On the draw, Thomas, left side, and he will be close to the first down. First and ten, you see the linebackers coming on the blitz. Backside pressure, and he throws it complete. That's Coleman, and he will take it across midfield and down to the 49-yard line. Teammates call him Goldie, number 27, the sophomore out of uh, Detroit, who's had an outstanding year, comes into the game at tailback. He'll get the handoff. You see the guard pulling. Boy, he gets tagged at the line of scrimmage. And Jim, good size for a quarterback at 6'4", 208. Sets nicely in the pocket. Wide open in the flat is his fullback, and Abrams has it inside the 35, and he's down to the 33. As Denton checks into the lineup, and again, two tight ends for Michigan State. Straight ahead with the running play. Dodges one, dodges his second, Thomas on his way, close to the first down at the 23. Doesn't carry the ball much, mostly nope. a pass receiver. But you can see he caught the ball very well a moment ago as they roll the pocket to the near side, and they throw it complete again. It's Bill Coleman, and he is rough now. It is first and 10 for the Spartans. The ball just outside the 10-yard line. Goldburn in a tailback. left guard is going to have close to five yards at around the six. Second down for Michigan State is Miller who has been outstanding in this opening drive again with one setback and you see the two tight ends. They go with the running play and this time nothing doing. Excuse me Michael. It is third down and they need about five and a half yards to pick up this first down. Miller blocks the time, drops it, has it complete at the three, at the two, Scott Green, and he is very close to the Michigan State first down. There's a first and goal for Michigan State. The ball just one yard away. Goldie takes it over the left side, and Goldburn scores. Six to nothing, the Spartans of Michigan State. What an impressive drive. Except the extra point. They try to put the team for the Big Ten up by seven, and they have it. So as we go to break, let's take one more look and watch impressive blocks by this man, 63, Shane Hannon, and also Colin Cronin. Seven to nothing, Spartans. This kickoff from Bill Stojanovic. Good driving kick. He'll take it at the seven. 
25 and out to the 30-yard line. Let's meet the starters on offense for the Cardinals tonight. Jeff Brom, and also, you see, we mentioned Marty Lowe. He is the backup. He's got to be prepared to play. Brom threw well in the warm-ups tonight. Mike went down on the field and took a closer look at him. The wide receiver, Bailey, is the man they just uh, got the kickoff return from. He's the guy they want the ball in his hands. He is the breaker. And up front, a consistent and good offensive line, Dave DeBowl, the senior at right guard, is uh, the leader up front. Jeff Brom and Mike, let's just take a look, and they will start off in the shotgun formation, just what you talked about. Easier on his hand. He's going to have He's going to get a chance to hit some local folks tonight. He is from Louisville, has seven sacks. That leads the team. The linebackers, they're very, very active, but they're led by 83. Rob Fredrickson, he's a senior. They get his senior leadership. Myron Bell in the secondary normally starts at corner. They've had to move him over to free safety because of the Steve Wasslick. Second down and nine as the Spartans try to show blitz. They stay at home. But again, Louisville from the shotgun formation. Brown deep over the middle. Got it complete. Ferguson inside the 40, and he's down to the 37-yard line. The eye formation. It's Dawkins. Little counterpoint. Trying to get him outside of the left. He is stuck hard at the line of scrimmage. Again, they'll go with the shotgun formation on a second down and long. Pressure from his right. Delivers it has it completed in the middle of Dawkins. Breaks the tackle. He'll go down to the 20-yard line, and it will be first down. For tight end. He likes the tight end, Jamie Asher. Gets it out in the flat. Tipped in almost to intercepted. Breaks to Dawkins. Rolls that pocket. Lops it out. And complete at the 12 to Fitzpatrick. Turns three or four, 57 yards. This time he will take the snap from under center. As Mike said here, he's having to reverse the snap. Pitches to Dawkins, tries to turn the corner. And that is a great job of containment. Again, it's Henry. Good pass and a good kick. So let's take a break. 7.07 left in this opening quarter. Both teams on the board. Spartans up by four. Series to try to slow down the running game. Anchors with the kick. This is very short. It's going to be taken at the 19-yard line. To the 25 and now to the 30. Good running by Marvin Wright. Move one of the safeties. Either strong safety or free safety up to give you the extra man. Miller. Pressure up the middle. They're looking to throw the screen. There's a flag. It's going to be offensive holding. And During the play, holding offensive line, 10 yards from the spot of foul. To pick up the first down. Big count. Here's the eight-man front, too, we talked about. Louisville's in an eight-man front defense. They go to the running play, and Thomas, nothing doing at the line of scrimmage. Right there at number 45, Jay Fanning. They want to throw in second down and long. Miller steps up, has it complete, and just the man that Mike was talking about as the ball is turned over, or was it? Coleman, now they're going to say an incomplete pass. The receiver. Third down and 30. Goldberg gets the ball on the draw, gets by one tackler, then will be tripped up at the 18-yard line. And Aaron Bailey, who averages 13 yards of return, is back deep. Not a long kick. Bailey with a fair catch and makes it at his own 49-yard line. Now it looks like Dawkins is lined up at fullback. If that's the case, he's a pass receiver out of that position. Play action. They're going to go up on top. Got a man open. Bailey tips away, almost intercepted. And Anthony Shelman is 6'3", 200. This time they roll the pocket to that open side. The pass incomplete. Wanted Asher is tight end. Third down. And the line to make is the 41 of Michigan State. Brown hit from behind, and he's going to be sacked. That's Glover. Four minutes and 40 seconds left to play in his opening quarter. 7-3 to three to get the pressure on. And he gets away a wobbly kick and good coverage by Louisville. Uh, he will not have an opportunity to return this one. Dead ball before the snap. We have offside defensive team. The first down in five at this 35th Liberty Bowl contest. Michigan State 7, Louisville 3 if you just joined us. Hand off and trip. 
Right up the middle is Thomas, and here comes the late flag. And Doing the run, holding offensive line. Well, Mike, ten yards from the spot of foul. Line to make is the 36. Goldburn on the draw. Gets to the outside. Oh, five. Has ten. Cut it off to 15, 16, and 17 as Quinn tripped him up. That's good adjustment by Michigan State. Great drop this time. Swings the pass out of the flat. Goldburn gets by a tackler at the 40. Comes to the 46-yard line. And Goldburn so far, a two wide receivers and one setback. Goldburn goes left side, and I believe he's going to have the Michigan State first down. Eight man front by Louisville trying to stop the run. Could get a check off by Michigan State. He's looking for for Abrams, his fullback. Throws the safety bow to the other side, and Goldburn is wrapped up, and that's a nice defensive play. And Goldburn comes out of the lineup. Thomas comes back in. As Miller sets, going to throw medium range shot. Did he catch it in bounds? They say yes at the 35 yard line. That is right in front of the Louisville bench. Miller sets in the pocket. Pressure is on. Swings it out of the backfield. Craig Thomas. But they really could mess up a lot of things. Take their rhythm away. Outlaw in motion. Is Miller over the middle? Nobody close on that one. Third down for Michigan State. They need the 25. Pressure up the middle and the pass incomplete. And in fact, that one was wounded rather than have an opportunity at a field goal attempt. Low pass, he just pooches it straight up in the air and he's got players around it. It is down inside the 10 yard line. An undefeated team, you certainly have to say that, yes. I didn't write the copy. I no, I know that. I wasn't <laughs> correcting you. <laughs> the counter goes to the right side. This is Showman. Still on his feet as he'll take it to the 15-yard line, and that's going to be a hard-nosed game. Well, he's going under center this time. We'll, before this evening is over, get a look at that if we can, that reversed hand taking the snap. There you see the running play. Dawkins makes a couple of folks miss, and he's going to have the first down. And you can see as a result, as that's the end of the first quarter, a little bit awkward as far as then having to turn. But thank goodness no more moisture coming down than we've had. We've had excellent footing, good field condition. Fakes it to Shelman, pass in the flat, and he's got it to Dawkins, and he takes the big hit. Global with a second down. The line to make is out of the 32. They have six attempts for 10 rushing yards in that first half. Shelvin with the handoff here. He will have a couple, but that run defense. He shared so much in the last 11 years with coaches all over the country that he's afraid people may have caught up with it. <laughs> Brown delivers it over the middle. Dawkins loses the football. Had it and then dropped it. Play Howard Triplett, number 11. Brookfield does take a little bit of extra time as Coleman picks it up in the run at the 35, and he will come out of bounds just across the 38. And it doesn't seem to have bothered the Spartan football players so far. Thomas tries the right side, breaks off the tackle, and he's in the open. Now he's going to be caught at the 45, and here comes a late flag in. We have an inadvertent five-yard face mask defensive team be added on at the end of the run fundamentally you get away from tackling and i know it's a long season but you got to tackle goldburn comes in replacing thomas at tailback he gets the handoff and a couple of tough yards right there is seven of eleven as holman now comes in at tailback and contact made up front dead ball defensive violates the neutral zone offside five yard penalty running play and Holman is going to be tripped up at the 30. Holburn comes into the lineup at tailback. It is third down and short, two tight ends. And Goldburn makes somebody miss at the line of scrimmage. That was Frost, but Quinn will finish him off. 304 pounds. Goldburn gets the handoff, takes it to the right side, and as you can see from that shot from our sideline camera, and George likes what he saw. Goldberg. Flag comes down, and it looks as though that's going to be another offensive holding. During the run, holding, offensive line, 10 yards to speak to that. 
shaped his entire attitudes in life. Miller sets the throws the screen in the flat. And inside the 35 is Goldburn. Out in the flat. And the safe pass is dropped by Thomas. Humbles here, jumps offside, penalties, missed field goals. Pocket is rolled. He throws it beneath his receiver. Shalani, they've got the return. And here's a flag. Very high kick as Bailey has run away from it. Bounds at the 15-yard line, and now let's check the marker. Have to give Marty Lowe some playing time. He's the quarterback of the future. See what he can get going here inside the 10-yard line. Rolls the pocket. Wants to throw, and you can see the pressure, and that one is thrown incomplete. Some of the receivers having the tendency to run those routes shorter to help out the quarterback. Can't do that no, with, uh, with low. You can't do that. You can't do it with Jeff Brown either. Third down. Gets his pass away and almost intercepted right into the hands of Henry. And this time they got the return on. Fair catch called for and made by Coleman. Seven games in five days here on ESPN. Miller with the play action throws to a wide open Scott Green. Somebody blew a coverage badly as he'll take it inside the 20 and down to the 17. 28 yards in that pass point. Greg Thomas. And the team just feeds off those fullbacks when they do something well. Pitch goes to Goldburn. Tries to cut it up inside. And At least the field goal would be a big win for the Louisville defense. Draw play. Great defensive play hit in the backfield by Jim Hanna. 31 yards. That's a good one. Kick is off to the right and no good. Ron, that was big. A big defensive series. But the boy, he showed tonight. Guess who's back? Yep, Brom is back at quarterback. Lobs it over the middle, complete to Dawkins. Gets a nice block and will take it close to the first down. At the Watch what Michigan State is doing on defense. Shelman to the left side. He'll have the first down for Louisville. Glover still has to get Jamie Astor into this offense. Lobs the pass. Has it complete. Boy, what a hit at the 38-yard line. A gutty performance by Jeff Brown. I'm telling you, he's in a lot of pain, and he's doing a great job of this offense. Running play. Shelman tries to bring it to the open side of the field. And again, defensively, Michigan State with a nice job as they need the 42-and-a-half-yard line. And the shotgun, good pressure by Michigan State. The pass thrown complete, and Dawkins lost his footing. Good kick, his best of the night. Coleman runs away from it, and that one will take it all the way to the end zone. For Michigan State is Craig Thomas, the lone setback behind his quarterback, gets the handoff, breaks off the tackle, comes to the 27. Cool. That means taking off their hat when they come to the building. That means wearing a shirt and tie when we travel. That means doing the things and creating habits. He said, that's my school and I care about it. And he's very adamant about that, about becoming a part of that. Uh... Second down, Goldberg to the right side. And he'll be stopped at the 40-yard line. Cavallo is the man who, here at the 1993 Liberty Bowl. And with that, it is halftime in Memphis with our scores. They head to the locker room, the Spartans of Michigan State 7 and the Louisville Cardinals 3. And held a quick pep rally themselves. So two emotion-ridden teams as we open the second half. Let's see if it pays off. Davis from the 5. Out to the 31-yard line. See if he can get something going for the Cardinals. They scored the first time they had the football tonight. And then it went dry after that. 
Pressure from behind. Pass incomplete. Brom swings it out of the backfield. Dawkins, or check it, Fitzpatrick, takes it out to the 40-yard line. We saw him exercising it down on the uh, sideline, but he held it in front of the heater. Here's a draw play coming out of that shotgun formation, and Dawkins will pick up the first down. Again from the shotgun, pass over the middle, almost picked off by Fredericks. Swings this one out of the backfield, and it is dropped by Fitzpatrick. Well, you could see the movement at the top of the screen by Bailey. And Brown is going to be set. Rich Glover. Pressure from the outside. <laughs> Brookfield takes a long time to get that kick away. Fair catch called for and made by Coleman. And Michigan State comes on for their first offensive series in this second half. Draw play to Craig Thomas. Play break to Goldman as he rolls the pocket and the pass. Stone complete and he breaks the tackle. Coleman off to the races and inside the 25 yard line to the 24. Draw play to Goldman. Tries to bounce it outside. 36. Ben Sumter is. Second down for the Spartans. Good protection deep over the middle. Has a man. And incomplete. His outlaw couldn't hold on. Oh, my goodness. Third down for Michigan State. Pumps it under pressure, and he is going to be set. And again, the Louisville Cardinals coming up with the big play defensively. The yards. Coach kick is going to hit in the end zone. <laughs> There's not much hot around this stadium tonight, by the What you like, Adrian's right, or what you like to do is keep the balls in the bag with a heater before you send them out there. Shellman takes it off the right side for only one. Spartans still lead it, 7-3. to three. Both teams scored. First time they had the football, and then we haven't seen anything since. Glover with pressure again. Pass over the middle is caught Aaron Bailey. Breaks one, two, three tackles along the way, and he's down at the 37. It's Quali Cooper. He's a freshman out of Florence, Alabama, number 15. He played more as the year went on. Here comes Dawkins, and he does have the speed to turn the corner, and you see what happens. That's going to be a gain of over 10 yards at the 47-yard line, their own 47. It's to Shelman. This time they take it to the right, and Shelman is going to be hit. It's Juan Hammonds who catches him from behind. And the run, holding, offensive line, 10 yard penalty from Father Foul. Lines up at the top of your screen. Play action. Brom steps up and throws it complete, and here comes another flag in. It's going to be another hold. We got holding, offensive line. During the play, 10 yards and spot a foul. And so far, he's playing fairly well tonight with a bad finger. The future of Louisville football. Really, the future uh, is kind of based on the past and a lot of things that you accomplished there with a new stadium, uh, playing bowl games now every other year. Well, I think the program has gone has done remarkably well. And Howard's done a great job with the, with the uh, program. And he, Johnny Unitas. Boy. I think the crew cut is back. <laughs> Shotgun formation on first down. Brown, you saw him with the big run a moment ago. Throws it high, but it's gathered in by Ferguson. And then he picks up a few more, and all of a sudden. Line of scrimmage, the Michigan State 39. They go with the running play. Shelman off the handoff. Runs into and then over his own offensive lineman. 7-3, to three, Michigan State leading. Brown, quick pass, and he hits him. On the quick post, Quali Cooper. Lots of time, throws it complete at the 20. That's Jamie Asher. Everybody in the pattern this time and throws it complete. 
at the 18 to Dawkins and close to the first down at around the 13 yard line. Shellman hurdles first down. Brom over the middle zings it just out beyond Aaron Bailey's fingertips. And Ralph Dawkins. Brown. No place to run, and he's going to be sacked, and that's Reggie Garnett. They can pick up a first down without scoring, but they have to take it all the way to the one-yard line. And they didn't get it away. That's going to be a delay of game against the Louisville Cardinals. Have to figure they're going to try to throw to the end zone and Demetrius Martin, number 12. Pressure coming on. Ron is going to run it. 20 at the 15, gets a block, and steps out of bounds just shy of the five-yard line. And Akers, the left footer, had the perfect angle, and he just missed it. Good heavens from point-blank range. We criticize anybody for not winning a national title. Only unbelievable record in Nebraska. Fred Thomas. Boy, he gets cracked hard as he takes it to the 25. And Gene Stallings last year in 1992. All right, Adrian. Counterplay. This will be good for the first down as a just under three minutes to play, third quarter. Fred is caught. Goldburn. This is Goldburn. He gets hit hard at the line of scrimmage. Joe Johnson. That ball is tipped and almost intercepted. Frost. Did they come after Solani or did they have the return on? They're coming after him. Not his best kick. Bailey from the 16. Bailey all the way back to the 40-yard line. But you got to credit Norm Parker tonight for the job this defense is doing for Michigan State. That zings it into the flat, and uh, as you could see, still have to play, but the motivation wasn't there for him because the Penn State game took a lot out of this football team. Shellman turns the corner and is going to have the Louisville first down. We head to the final 15 minutes here at the 35th Liberty Bowl. We'll be right back. The 50-yard line, first down, send it downfield and try to serve notice. Make the running play. Boot leg. Hammond is right there, and he would not be fooled had the quarterback handed it off. So in second down and long. Brom going to go on top. Nope. Right over the middle. Throws is complete to Dawkins, and Dawkins fights his way to the 40-yard line. Line to make, as we said, the 36. Looking. Gets it complete, and that will be the first down at the 30, and it's Ralph Dawkins. Oh, How about the press box? A little warmer <laughs> up there. Brom, eight of his last nine. First down for the Cardinals. Quick out and incomplete, and probably a good thing a big third down play. I think he's got to be more involved for them to be successful offensively. Pumps it once. Well, great protection. Now he's going to run it, and will take it down to the 25-yard line. <laughs> Wanted over the middle. Now delivers. He's got his man open at the 10. At the 5. Touchdown, Reggie Ferguson. Oh, 12.05 left to play in the ball game. 9 to 7. Extra point attempt is good by Akers. And we have a three-point lead for the Louisville Cardinals. Let's take a break. Back to Memphis in just a moment. Mason.
Jackson and Green. The two D backs, and he's going to put it on the ground. A swift kick. It's Kuhn who will take it. So the Spartans get the ball back in very good field position. Miller up the sideline, and it's going to be picked off. Number 43, Watson. And he will take it all the way back to the 33. That's where his convoy was. Looks like Mill Coleman also had fallen down out there, Mike. Going to go on top. On first down, incomplete. Heck of an effort by Reggie Ferguson. Try to get outside with Dawkins here. You see him change and go to the tilt. The pitch goes to Dawkins, turns the corner, runs into and over the defensive back. You need to score again. And Shellman, number 29, the eye now. Pound him inside. The eye formation, and just what Mike said, there's trouble. He will have the first down. It is first and goal for the Louisville Cardinal. First and goal from the five. That's where they go. Shoving a hit in the backfield. And who else? Juan Hammonds. Of course, those two guys from Michigan State, certainly top candidates for the games that they have had. Second down from the five. Throws it to the end zone. Dawkins can't hold on. They have a third down and goal at the Michigan State Five. They roll the pocket. Pressure coming on Brown. Now he's got to get rid of it. He can't get sacked here. Going to run for the sideline. Now throws it away. And caught by Asher at the one yard line. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Come out in the eye. There's Anthony Shellman over the top or a roll out with the fake. Defense. Little lining up uh, in his own end zone, but happy to do so because of the circumstances, and there is a safety. Good heavens, Joe Johnson with the huge play, and Louisville comes up with two points. Something was wrong with that play from the start. They don't get a chance to play East Carolina, and that's wrong. Jelani with the punt, and a not a very long punt. <laughs> Going to go out of bounds just to cross the 50-yard line. Yesterday, that uh, he said if this team played in a conference, they would get a lot more respect than they do. Pitch goes to Dawkins. And he is down after a gain of three. Pressure coming from Hammonds. Ball is dumped off to Dawkins. Gets one block. Turns it upfield, and he will go inside the 45, and on that second effort, it's just very cold, but these two teams are accustomed to that, particularly Michigan State. Shelman, deep in the eye, he gets the handoff, fumbles the football, recovered by Michigan State. Or did it come out? Henry came down on top of it, and then they continued to fight for the football. And Louisville took the football away. At five, six, and let's see. They're going to spot him down at the 28. He's a sweep right here with Dawkins. Dawkins on the draw. High stepping, and he'll have almost 15 yards in the play as Bell. As you can see, the clock on the lower right hand side under six minutes to play now. Shelman. Going to be close to five. Henry comes up from his strong safety. Here's where it may be a sweep with Dawkins. Or the trap up inside. Another go with the pitch. Mike is going to come outside. Cuts down Ralph Dawkins. And Shellman with a paving block. Akers to attempt the extra point. Fumble snap pressure. And they're going to be trapped behind the line of scrimmage. And the one-point conversion is no good. So let's take a break. 4.57 left in this 35th Liberty Bowl. His kickoff. It's going to be short again. It'll come down to green at the 12. Fourteen plays for Michigan State. 43 for the Louisville Cardinals. And... Total yards in the second half, 209 to 93. Pass is caught. 
Bill Coleman going to be knocked out of bounds. So they're in hotels uh, cheering for their ball club tonight. Yeah, I imagine that uh, that celebration is uh, kind of going strong. Green with a nice move. He'll be hit and finally knocked out of bounds. 20-some practice sessions, so you not only practice for the game, but you keep your younger players out after practice, and it's an extra spring practice, a bonus. And it's caught by Coleman over the middle. And let's go down to Adrian. Came as a quarterback through for 7,000 yards. Remember, he could be the quarterback here next year. Pass is thrown complete to Scott Green. Then we'll see number six at the helm at Michigan State next year. And Milt Coleman went to Michigan State's quarterback camp since he was 13 years old. Pass is tipped. Incomplete in Michigan State with the football at the Louisville 36-yard line. Miller on third down. Zings it. Incomplete. Wanted outlaw, fourth down, they got to pick up six to keep it alive. Miller's pass is intercepted, didn't drop. Darius Watson had it and then dropped it and actually picks up yards by doing it. Straight ahead with the running play, they'll take it for a couple. Brown with a gutsy performance though. Roll the pocket. He's just going to carry this thing. They're going to be hit and knocked down hard by Fredrickson. The state, Texas A&M, and Tulsa. Dawkins breaks one, two, three, and four tackles and all the way down to the 26-yard line. Myron Bell finally stops it. 87 rushing, 66 receiving. his foot in there as he tries to turn the corner. <laughs> Under a minute to play. Hey, how you doing? Nils Shellman, and he will carry it, go down, and that's it. Crowd counts it down, but in the second half, that, that really was the difference. 